Hello everyone, I'm Adriana and today with Leonardo we'll continue to share with you our experiences in creating a successful business. When you are starting a business, it can be complicated to get customers. For that, I'll share with you two tricks. First, you should try to rent a location that was previously used as a mobile repair shop or telecom that has already closed. The second option is to invest a bit of money and time in advertising and marketing. In today's class, I'm going to teach you, in a logic way, how to keep a business afloat at the beginning. Over the past few years, we've attended many marketing and neuromarketing conferences. To put it in one way, Leonardo today is going to present you the conclusion of all these conferences. For example, if in a room of 100 people throughout a two-hour conference, the name of the company is repeated five or six times, by the end of the conference, most people will have already learned the name of that company. For example, I put 10 logos from different sectors. I'm sure at 100% that you know what product or service each company works with. Why do you know it? Because over the last year, these companies have bombarded you with advertising through radio, television and leaflets. They have worked very well their brand. And that is why companies like Mediamark, Brico Depot, Alcampo and Leroy Merlin here in Spain every two weeks or every month send you a leaflet to your home. In this way, they make sure that you don't forget their brand and when you need something, you come back to buy it. I even remember six years ago the name of a company in a conference. It was called Car Glass and today this company has more than 220 stores throughout Spain. This is a clear example of the importance of repeating a company's name over and over again. In the end, it is stored in the subconscious. We must remember that behind these big companies there are brilliant minds working hard on marketing and neuromarketing strategy. We memorize brands in the subconscious almost without wanting to. Neuromarketing has analyzed the customer brain and noticed that we buy many things impulsively from the subconscious. This has allowed marketing professionals to design better ideas and advertising campaigns in order to obtain a better understanding of customers' behavior patterns. The conclusion is that neuromarketing is a useful tool for marketing professionals that helps them better to understand the customer decision-making process. What allows them to create better content and advertising to increase their product sales. All of these experiences are real from our stores and from the step of some companies where Leonardo has worked. He has worked in six or seven companies and he has seen how some of them have grown or other has closed. From all this year he has drawn his own conclusion that he wants to share with you. One thing is clear, to achieve success, it's necessary to copy the other and to do the work in the shortest time possible or to be an expert in innovation and bringing new ideas, which is very complicated. At the beginning, in our store, we didn't have so much work because our neighborhood was very small and it was like a bedroom neighborhood, so we invest some money in flyers for cars. And in this way, more and more people knew us. At the same time, we set up our YouTube channel and we remember that a not very professional video 
brought us more than 250 online repairs. It was about repairing the SIM card reader of LG G3. At the moment, we felt the importance of the online world and we bet a lot on this strategy. Every day, customers from all the national territory was sending to us the request of repairing this device. It's important that businesses with few sales establish a long-term marketing control system to evaluate the performance of advertising. In addition, it's important also to offer good service and customer service to generate trust and loyalty. An economical way to promote a business with few sales is to use double sides or threefold leaflets. This technique is one of the most economical marketing options available, making it ideal for those with a limited budget. Also, the online advertising is also an excellent tool to promote a business with few sales, for example, through Google AdWords or Facebook. The use of online ads can bring great reach to a varied audience as well as giving customers the opportunity to get to know their products and services better. The use of social networks such as Facebook, Twitter and Instagram are also an excellent way to promote your business. Lastly, it's important to set a budget for the first few months of the business to cover the expenses. This will keep the business afloat until it begins to generate profits. It is also important to have the best technical team possible as well as offering competitive prices to increase the demand for their services. The conclusion is to promote a business with few sales is important to have a long-term marketing control system as well as to use the marketing tools such as leaflets, online advertising, social networks and advertising in newspapers. Also, it's important to remember that our customer is our boss, so it's essential to offer good services and maintain a good relationship with them to ensure that the business continues to be successful. Our final conclusion is that the more times you make your brand known, the more work you'll have. If no one talks about you, you won't be able to get any work. Therefore, it's necessary to make your brand know through WhatsApp groups, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok, leaflets, a good frontage, large posters in the windows with just a little information so as not to drive crazy our customers, on the radio, on buses, and so on. Guys, just remember that advertising is a long term and repetition has its results. This was today's video. He is Leonardo and we hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.